Why are you peeing like a girl? Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, seven o'clock Sunday morning. Um, people are breaking camp down. Final day to day class. The swales got put in way faster, like way faster than uh, they anticipated. So the class is kind of like done with. Gonna do a lot of question and answer and add on, try to add some value and give them, everybody that's here, something more. Most of the people here actually run um, farms and business farms and like business homestead stuff. Um, I have a lot of new followers on Instagram and looking at them, they're not like my normal client customer base or followers. It's mostly uh, homestead, business to business farm. I know they were here. Man, awesome folks. Wife, daughter, husband. And then there's some grandkids I'm seeing on the pictures unloading feed and stuff. Um, and there's a lot of people just, you know, are doing this as, uh, you know, as their actual income. So we're going to uh, just kind of go in whatever direction they want to go. And I'll add my two cents wherever I can. But just what a great weekend, man. A uh, smaller class, you know, not, a, not hundreds and hundreds of people. So a lot of one-on-one -on -one time getting to actually know people and develop, you know, beginning relationships. I'm up top here. It is raining. But I'm going to go ahead and move this sprinkler over here. We're kind of, I have a couple of these that have been run over by something and just out in the elements for several years. So these sprinklers come from Tractor Supply. I'm sure you can get something similar anywhere, but uh, they work really well. And uh, we have a lot of water pressure, so it throws a lot of water really fast. And we're just kind of keeping this all moist. Um, you know, just in, just in case. We're, we're having rain. It's raining right now as I'm talking to you. And uh, it's had 90% chance of rain most of the day. And that's, it's good that the class is pretty much wrapped up for the installation, uh, seeding, and scatter mulching because it is a lot of rain. But the hope is that we have um, the rain actually does hit like it's supposed to. And that uh, I'm adjusting this, <clears throat> this sprinkler here. The hope is that the rain actually does hit like it's supposed to. And we see these swells actually fill and uh, function. Just in case we don't get a lot of rain, I want to keep this side moist. I watered this side last night. Uh, I turned it off. You know, I watered it from like eight to nine. So now I'm just going to throw this side on here. And then uh, I'm actually up here to feed the animals. But it is, uh, there is some sitting water in here from the sprinkler last night. We, um, once this gets in place, we don't want water ripping through here right now. So once this is in place and it's seeded, um, we will actually do some more work. We'll take this and make kind of a, uh, an, a spill gate right over here. And uh, the first thing we'll do with this spill gate is we will uh, manipulate that water into these swales. And that'll, that could just be a trench, just a little cut to connect them. And these cascade, they work, they function really well. We've tested them hundreds of times. Um, it doesn't take a huge amount of rain to actually fill them. So it, it works well, many swales there. And then uh, we'll also be able to fill this pond with this because all of this rain here now comes into this. And it's cut in a manner that this will fill that pond and when it's full, it will backflow and come out this gate over here. There's another floodgate over there, or I call them floodgate, it's a, it's a spillway. But then it'll fill this pond. But this pond, we gotta actually, we have to rebuild a, a portion of that pond. So there's some concern that with the amount of water here um, and those trees now rotted through, if we get a real purge and we lose portion of that dam, all that water is going to push literally through the building. So we need to get a, a something handled there. We're still some time away from this, but this is all seeded with uh, sun hemp, cow pea, and buckwheat. So in 90 days, you won't see any of the dirt. You won't all, where all this straw here is. All you will see is vegetation, and then we'll come through at some point. We will chop that vegetation. Um, we're also planting this comfrey already in place in a lot of it. There's a lot more comfrey going in, and that'll be a chop and drop situation, which will become you know nutrients and build soil. And then we'll put the trees in. Every place you see a flag, a uh, red flag is a fruit white flag is a nitrogen fixer so nitrogen fruit fruit nitrogen fruit fruit nitrogen fruit fruit and then we do that um the reason those are planted in that manner is that that nitrogen fixer will feed both 
fruit trees to its side there. So pretty cool. And uh, we're also on every corner, caddy corner, you'll have blueberry, 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 blueberry. And then on the other side, you will have, I don't remember what we said we're putting there. Um, but once there's shade and it's running, you could have strawberries in there. You could have all kinds of stuff in there. So, and then we have this whole area here to also do something with eventually. And then in the bottom by the fence, I think we're going to put another swale that will run the entire fence line. So that'll give us, I mean, an, an immense amount of hydrology and, uh, you know, just it, it really takes care of itself when it's done right. So anyways, I was literally up here for one minute, I'm, I'm in a huge hurry, but I was up here for one minute to turn these, uh, the sprinkler on, and then I'm gonna run through and feed animals and stuff. And you can see the seat was dry when I got off it. It's, it's sprinkling, it's not real raining, but it's beautiful out here. And just standing here under these oaks right here, as sparse as they are, you're barely getting any rain on you. It's just, the temperature's amazing. It's really pretty. And this is a piece of the property up here it used to be, well, it was part of the motocross track. You could still run a good amount of it with the razors. We've kind of reconnected it so you can use it. This is an uphill jump right by those pine trees. You run through here. We had a double jump right here, which in all the dirt work, we used that dirt for something else. And you would run through between those trees and there's a giant berm back there. I don't know if you can see it, but you'd have to take the car from four wheel drive, and put it in two wheel drive, at least in the four seater. Otherwise, because you gotta leave that ass in to slip around and go that way and then you immediately cut back and you run this run through these trees there's the fence line is not where the property line ends we put the fence inside and then that main trail there was part of the track and it runs 45 miles an hour down through there and you got to dodge some trees so this place up here is all this is really really chert like this whole place used to be this height they mined or excavated all of that that's where it goes down low this is what they harvested out of here chert and it's uh nothing grows well in it like pine trees will land and grow some places these oaks showed up i mean they've been here since we've had the place and then this stand of pines so there was some like pines on there like wind blow pines like this and some blackberries and stuff um but the blue because there's so much pine up here the uh blueberries do well um this is a tree we planted it has died a, a colorado blue spruce favorite christmas tree this is a wind blow pine this one died but this one made it years later it came in and i thought i had another yeah here's one here so we had 36 up here and we watered them all the time and they kind of stayed alive they never got any bigger these have been in the ground at least probably five six years that's the sole remaining little guy there. So we have all of this. We don't use it. What do we do with it? And the plan is to run from that fence line and run a fence across here and contain this. So we'll run just a post post and panel uh, fence, you know, post and wire fence so that we can put uh, animals up here. And we'll go ahead and start growing grass. And the swales, we ran the swales in a manner that all of our sheep tractor and um, our chicken tractors, the biggest ones are 10 feet wide. So we figured, okay, 12 feet. So we made our marks at uh, 13 feet. So on the back side, the downside of this swale here, we have plenty of room to run equipment through here. And then we have all this grass that'll grow when we stop driving over it like this. And we can drag the animals up and down and up and down or in an S pattern. And we can use all of this grass here. We will grow up here. We'll plant some things that will grow so that we can utilize that. Why the fence? Well, the fence is there because it doesn't keep predators out, but by fencing this, we can put the dogs or a separate set of dogs or put the dogs where we drag the animals so the dogs are always with the animals. And that'll allow us to use all of this without predators being able to get to those chickens or mess with those uh, sheep. So that's why and if you don't know and i know a lot of people watch this that like i want to do this someday fencing is expensive you can definitely there are ways to do it cheaper but fencing is expensive i have more money in fencing on this property now which that, that the chain link's expensive especially black vinyl chain link is really expensive so that number could change a little but i have more money on the property in fencing right now than the property cost when i bought it so my guesstimate and we already have fence here and fence here. So we're only gonna have to fence there and then here and then tie it in. And will we fence this? Probably not. We'll probably have like temp fencing across here that'll just kind of won't include this stand of trees. To fence it, I actually, I would rather fence that because that puts the dogs all the way to the corner of the property. So people messing around out there uh, they get that bark and they get that, uh, the dogs can hit that corner. So maybe, but 
The immediate would be to just cut this off because that's going to be very, very labor intensive and it's on a, a steep hill. So, but that'll allow dogs to be here to ward off um, predators. And our predator low is low. Coyotes at the most. Yo, babe. Yo, babe. You come here often? Yes. It's raining, so I make everything wet. It's moist. One word, describe this weekend. Awesome. Okay, one sentence. I learned a lot. I had a good time. And I am very much looking forward to seeing the progress of the swims. What was your favorite part of the weekend? Talking conspiracy theories with everybody. Was that really your favorite part? Absolutely. Your boobs are, I mean, your boots are nice. Yeah. With my little booty shorts. Your, your boots, I like your rubber boots. Mm -hmm. My rubber boots with my booty shorts. Did you have a sword down inside it? Yes. Fig tree. And what do I see? That actually is a right pig. Mm. It's not awesome. It's ripe though. It's got a little metallic taste to it. When I rode over here, I really expected to just see little tiny ones. I didn't realize that a bunch of them had got big so fast. What's that, five? That one's a little sweeter. I don't see anything on that one big enough. Who are you woofing at? Hello. Oh, I see that you have one of my eggs. Where would you have gotten that from? Oh, I left the chicken coop open. Time to let everybody out of kennels. Everybody's off the property. Everybody's been gone for hours. Not a single egg to be seen. Why? Because the dogs ate them all. They didn't eat you guys. Hey you. Hey. Hey you. What? No. No. Hang on a second. Hey, sit still. Hey. You. Hey. Are we excited? Huh? Are we excited? Okay, listen. Some things are a little different. There's some big trenches. I need you to not dig in them. I need you to leave the straw where we put it. I need you to not eat all the seeds. I need you to not reignite a campfire where there was a campfire. I need you to not chew up the hoses. Hey, do we understand each other? Can you, uh, all that grass we pulled there, buddy, can you pick that up and put that over in the other grass? Go, we'll see it. Why are you peeing like a girl? You look like a monkey and you sit down to pee. Why, oh, why is everybody messing with me? Are you peeing? What are you doing? all off there. <laughs> he slid down on the wet grass. One of the realest to try my family